Let me give you a quick tour of uh, some of the technology activities. Uh, first of all, in each of the units, uh, in most all the units, there will be a technology area. And uh, these are GG for GeoGebra, and they are different kinds of activities that you can do in GeoGebra as you move along. Uh, for instance, here's one that has you uh, doing some symmetry and looking at symmetries in shapes. And uh, you basically come to a chart and it says, hey, go check this out. And so if you bring this up, it will load your GeoGebra activity for you. And uh, what it does is provides you uh, the opportunity to do some reflecting to see if that reflection is a line of symmetry and it's not, or this one if it is not, and so on. And the power of this is you can alter it or move it to kind of look at what it's doing. Uh, maybe it was about rotation, so you'd go uh, click here or use the QR code and it's going to ask you to look at the rotations. This has no rotational symmetry, but uh, let's see, the rectangle has one rotational symmetry and there's its second one there. Uh, so that's one activity. Let's uh, look what else we have for activities here. You have, um, let's see what 5.4 is. Uh, the treasure map. So this one is actually fun. Um, it's a little pirate theme. And the idea is that you are going to try to follow instructions to um, find the uh, X marks the spot, the treasure. And you'll be given some sort of a map and then asked to follow those directions to obtain that. That's fun. Let's see. I'm going to try a couple here. Uh, oh, that was that one. Oh, the kaleidoscope. So the kaleidoscope uh, is a great one for reflections and rotations. Um, you create some wonderful shapes that uh, dance and move in front of you. Five, six, uh, looking at rules of uh, reflections and rotations. Uh, let's see what else we got. This one here I think is a fun one too. This one has us um, loading, loading. Uh, has us learned about congruence by mapping, and so they give us some situations, and we have to map one onto the other. So here, uh, you might have um, you might have two triangles like this, and you might say, "How can I map this one onto this one?" You say, "Ah, all right. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by doing a translation." So you might say, "All right, let's translate A onto G," and then you say, "Ah, I think I know what to do next," and so on. Anyways, this is enough for you to see, get an idea. There's some great um, technology activities in, in these materials.